Each year, around 1.35 million people die in car accidents. That's an average of 3,700 people every single day and more than two deaths every minute. Humans just aren't designed to survive car crashes. Even if a driver is wearing a seatbelt and the airbags deploy. But what if they were? Australia's Transport Accident Commission explored this idea with the help of artist Patricia Piccinini, a trauma surgeon and a crash investigation expert. The result was Graham, a life-size sculpture depicting what a human would need to look like to survive a car accident. Let's take a closer look at Graham's anatomy. Brain the delicate soft tissue of the brain is protected by three layers of membrane and then the skull. Still, this isn't enough protection. The sudden impact from a crash can cause the brain to hit the walls of the skull, bruising brain tissue and potentially resulting in traumatic brain injuries or even death. In order to better protect the brain, we would need more cerebrospinal fluid. A bigger skull wouldn't hurt either, which leads us to the skull. Our skulls absorb a lot of force in a car accident. It fractures and shields the brain from an impact, stopping the force from reaching the brain. It takes about 1,100 pounds of pressure to fracture the skull. Still, a larger skull with built-in crumple zones would absorb more impact, much like a helmet does, and protect us fully during a car crash. Face in a car crash, there's often a lot of debris, including broken glass right at eye level. Our faces can easily be scratched by this shrapnel. Further, since our nose protrudes, it is especially prone to fracture during an accident. If we had flat faces with more fatty tissue on areas like our cheekbones, we could absorb more energy on impact. Neck When a moving vehicle hits another object, Everything inside the car keeps moving. The driver's head recoils forward, suddenly stops, and then suddenly moves backward, causing an extreme extension of the neck and spine. The spinal cord runs through the neck, and if it bends and breaks, humans can become paralyzed or killed. The solution in our evolved human selves? Just remove the neck. Instead, we can replace it with the rib cage. Our ribs are great protectors for our organs. The seat belts in cars hit at three points across the ribs, sternum, and pelvis, spreading the force of a possible crash across the rib cage. While the ribs protect us, we could still benefit from extra padding in a car accident. This comes in the form of airbags. They stop us from flying through the windshield or hitting the steering wheel. Still, ribs are often broken by the force of the airbag, and internal bleeding can occur. Internal airbags placed between each of the ribs would help to absorb the force of a crash and further protect our organs. In addition to a rib cage that extends up to the skull, creating a neck brace-like structure, stronger ribs would also offer better protection in a crash. Skin Skin injuries in car crashes range from small lacerations to burns. With thicker skin, the human body could avoid the pain associated with road rash. Knees and elbows Our knees and elbows are only meant to bend in one direction. This can easily lead to a broken joint if the impact of a crash forces the limb the opposite way. If our joints could move in every direction and were fortified with additional tendons, it would be less likely for them to shatter during an accident. Legs and feet The best way to evolve our legs and feet so they are protected in a car crash? Hoof-like legs. An extra joint in the leg also means greater flexibility. This could help reduce the impact on the tibia or the shin, which is the least protected bone in the human body. While humans won't evolve to look like Graham to survive accidents, exercises like this can help engineers design new safety equipment for vehicles and pedestrians. Until then, be sure to always wear your seatbelt.